Padres hosting the Dodgers. The Dodgers are minus 115 on the money line. The Padres are minus 105. The over-under, eight runs. The Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Padres getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win, or if they only lose by one, you win. Urias pitched five times, or Urias pitched five times against the Padres last year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won 6-1 to one in San Diego. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won 12-1 to one in LA. Seven innings, two runs, two earned. They won 8-4 to four in San Diego. Six innings, no runs, no earned. They won one nothing in 10 innings in San Diego. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won 5-3 to three in LA. So every game that he pitched in last year against the Padres, the Dodgers won. Musgrove pitched three times against the Dodgers last year, and it's a tale of two different teams because... They lost every game that he pitched against the Dodgers. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They lost three to one in LA. Five and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost 11 to two. Five innings, no runs, no earned. They lost one nothing in 10 innings, and that was in San Diego. And that game was against Urias, Urias. I'm sorry if I butchered his last name. Now, the Dodgers are four and three as a team with Urias on the mound. He's averaging four, uh, five and two thirds innings pitched in the game in his seven games and 6.4 strikeouts per game in his last seven games that he's appeared in. So essentially at least one or one and a third batters per inning. The Padres are 2-0 and in Musgrove's uh, two appearances this year as a team. He's averaging four innings pitched and four and a half strikeouts per game in the two games that he's uh, started. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other. The underdog has won the last five games. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been four one-run games in their last 10, two in their last four. The under is hit in their last two. The under is 6-3-1. and one. And the under eight specifically is 6-1-3. and three. So eight seems to be the magic number because it hit it three times. The last game they played, which was yesterday, the Dodgers won 2-1. The game before that, the Padres won 5-2. I really like Darvish in that matchup as a home underdog. In their last handful of games overall, the Dodgers are 7-3 and three in their last 10, and they are 7-1 and one in their last 8. We've had 14 runs, 16 runs, 7 runs, and 3 runs. 13 runs and a win, 10 runs and a win, those were against the Phillies. 2 runs and a loss, 2 runs and a win, those were against the Padres. The Padres are 2-2 two and two in their last 4, and I'm running out of time, so... I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line. I'm going to take the Dodgers laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.